So I found a new toy and it is this. It's the Philips One Blade and I'll tell you something, it's pretty cool. Hey everybody, my name's Aiden, this is Everyday Tech. Before we get going, if you could subscribe to my channel below, that would be great. And if you do get to the end of this video and you do enjoy it, then please remember to hit that like button. So this here, this shaver from one, Philips, the One Blade. Now, this video is gonna be aimed at mainly men, but ladies, did you know that you can use this too? Because this is made for convenience. And I'll cut to the chase. You can actually shave your legs with this. You don't have to use foam. You don't have to get them wet. You could just use a dry shave with this. Now, it's not going to go right to the skin, but that might be a good thing because it doesn't cut flush to the skin, you shouldn't get ingrowing hairs. Now, if you're the kind of person that needs like super smooth skin, then it may be, you know, this may not be the one for you. But if you are a person that's on the go, that likes to travel, that just needs to keep tidy, then this is the way forward. So my needs are different. I myself have a beard and whenever I have to shave, I have to do a wet shave, which is shower, foam, shave and all that palaver. But I hate doing that. I quite often end up being itchy. I catch myself. And the reason I have a beard, one of the reasons anyway, is I have a mole just here. And if I was to go clean shaven, I would catch it all the time and it would bleed a lot. I know it's not a great sight. So this is one of the reasons I have a beard and it's not just to give definition to my face because I haven't got a neck. So, you know, you've heard that joke before. So yes, for me, having something that is easier to shave with is gonna make my life easier. Now, traditional electric razors, shavers, whatever, with the foil blades, whether the, the, the long foil blades or the discs, they could only go so far. They wouldn't give you the edge unless you had an attachment. And even then it was messy. You wanted something that would do a wet or dry shave that would go right up to the edge and still trim your beard and still give you a pretty close shave. Well, this does pretty much all of that. Now, there are several variations of this shaver, so please look and see which one suits you best. I've gone for a more basic model. It cost me, what, in the UK? I think I got it for £28. It comes with the shaver with a head. You get another head. You get two body grooming combs and then three, let me get them, three beard combs a grade one, a three and a five. Now, I'll probably only be using the main razor with one of the beard trimmers, so which is gonna be quite convenient for me for traveling purposes. Now you can buy this with a travel pouch. If you're gonna be using several of these, buy the one with the pouch because otherwise they're all gonna be loose, they're gonna get lost, they're gonna get broken. So if you travel a lot and you are, you think you're going to use several of these attachments, make sure you either have a pouch or you buy this one with the carry pouch. And you're in for a treat today, people, because I'm actually going to shave half of my face while I'm talking to you now. I've actually got a little mirror just here so you can actually see how it works. Um, I'm going to use several different attachments and we're just going to go through together. I mean, again, I have used this and I wouldn't normally do this right here, but I'm not, my camera's all set up in my little studio. I'm not going to set it all up in the bathroom because it's just going to be very echoey. I want you to be able to hear me properly. And I'm going to get bits everywhere. I'm going to get hair in my keyboard. I'm just going to move this keyboard actually out of the way because I don't want hairs in that. So another thing to consider is when you are using the shaver, make sure the trimmer heads go on the right way. The body ones, it doesn't matter too much because they're double-sided. 
But the beard trimmers, if I can focus on that, it only goes on one way. You can see the teeth just here. Now, when you actually put it on, it seems to go on anyway. See, teeth at the top, clips on, teeth at the bottom, it clips on and moves. So it looks like it could go either way. But the way it shows you in here is the teeth need to go facing upwards and you are supposed to go up your face. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go, I'm gonna do half, I'm gonna do this half of my face. You'll have to forgive me because I'm also looking at the screen just off center of the lens and I've got a mirror just here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the size five and if you can hear, you can hear that. Sounds familiar. So, You can hear it catching the hairs. And I can see Now you may have to go in a couple of different directions. I'm not going to tell you how to shave. So I'm going to leave that like that. I'm going to take that off. And then I'm just going to show you what it's like just to use this on its own. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use this on the bare skin. Now this is where it gets this is where it gets really interesting because because of its edge, you can go, you can actually shave right up to the edge of your beard without thinking, am I gonna take it off? Am I gonna blah, blah, blah? It works really well and it gives you a really nice finish. And you can actually go up and down. I mean, you can see already there's a there's quite a big improvement, and it's the same if I was to go so let's say I do it this way. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't snag. It feels okay. Now this isn't obviously ideal because I've not got a full mirror. But you can use it to trim. You use it to get your nice straight edges. Now, my hand is covered in hair already, but as you can see already, there's a vast improvement. You know, from this side to this side, you can, you can see definite distinction between the two. A couple of minutes in a very oddly placed mirror filming myself with lights on me, you know, it's it's not ideal. But if I can do that in this situation, then, you know, you can do better. It really is that simple and that cool. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Ladies, you're going to have to calm yourself because I'm going to use a couple of the body combs. Now, the reason I'm usually zoomed out a little bit more, so the camera's a little bit further away. But I'm just going to take this off. Yeah, calm down, because I'm just gonna do a little bit of chest hair, but I'm not gonna show too much skin because, you know, don't wanna get banned. So, one second. All right, so as you can see here, I've got a fair bit of chest hair, but I'm keeping it, you know, friendly. And when you got your razor here, your blade, you can stick your body comb on. Now, this one I think is a three millimeters so when you use it you can just literally go
and it takes the hair off and I can see it's taken some hair off which is really gross but I don't want to take too much off but you can see it is it is coming off and then you've got this one which is pretty much next to the skin so I'm going to take off this little bit here so keep washing Uh, yeah, that's got that. And again, I am watching myself on a tiny little screen next to my camera. Obviously, I would have a much bigger mirror to see what I'm doing. And I, to be honest, I wouldn't usually be doing this on my body. But for those of you that, that do, it I mean, it's great. I mean, I actually used it on my arms because these are usually hairy as well. I know I'm like a gorilla. And yet... Yeah, it grew back but it wasn't itchy because it doesn't shave like super close to the skin it, it's not it's already there's already a, a minuscule of a hair already sticking out once you've shaved it feels really smooth but because it's not a, a, a blade that goes right up to the skin you're not going to get ingrowing hairs you're not going to get all the itchiness i haven't had that at all which is a godsend so for those of you that need to shave parts of their body this is great this is absolutely great so i'm just going to quickly cut to me being dressed again and also fyi please forgive the hair i haven't had it cut since december and i tried to cut it myself but it is a bit massive i've done the best with it that i can but it is a you know it's got it's got volume let's just say but getting back to this razor this is a fantastic piece of kit i mean it feels pretty good now you can get better results like we say you know if you, you know, were in a washroom and you can see yourself properly i can't see i'm only having to to judge i can feel like there's some hairs that i've missed here i just can't see them properly but again if you've missed them just And that's all you need to do and the great thing is is you know you don't need to wet your face you don't need to put a hot towel on there you don't need foam and the cool thing about this is even though the outlay can be quite expensive compared to a normal bladed razor it should work out cheaper in the long run now one of these blades it states should last up to four months now I've been trying to see where they get where they're getting that figure and I think because on the side of the box I've put the box somewhere on here it says that for best shaving experience based on two full shaves per week so if you shave twice a week two full shaves this should last you I think four months if you shave every day which I don't think it's necessary but if you do it may last you one and a half to two months now if you are gonna have a full face shave every day do not buy this this is the sort of thing you buy when you need to retain a beard because you need that edging capability if you are going for a clean shave every day there are far better alternatives there are shavers that will do a closer cut that will probably cost cheaper in the long run because you're not having to buy spare heads for it and it just works better this is great for those men that have a beard that want to shave but retain definition in a beard or for the ladies who want to do the legs arms whatever when they are traveling for convenience so one thing that does really annoy me is the charging of the damn thing it's another charger that you need to keep by your bed because it's different to every other one even different to the Philips ones that I already have they all seem to be different now I've said it before and I don't know why they've not done it already 
why aren't they doing these with wireless charging? So you could get rid of the charging cable altogether. Just stick it on a charging mat. Do it with a toothbrush. Do it with a beard trimmer. Do it with a shaver. Do it with this, anything. Just charging mat, charging mat. Just buy one charging mat, everything works together. Instead of having, I must have what? Five charging cables by my bed for different products that I use. And they're all different. Even if they are by the same brand, they are all different. And it really, really is frustrating. Right, guys, I hope you found this useful because I just feel that this is a great product. It's not for everybody. But if you are that man that has a beard or a goatee or a moustache that likes to travel, that needs a nice, convenient shave, this will work perfectly for you. Or if you are that lady that needs to do their legs, their arms, their armpits, this could work for you. And what I will do is I'll leave a link in the description below of where you can buy this on Amazon. And obviously if you do click on it, I may earn a commission. But yeah, this has been fun. I've never done a video where I've taken my top off and I've never been half shaven. Mm, this is this is new to me. This is new. But if you've enjoyed this, then hit that like button. If you didn't enjoy it, then double tap that dislike button. And don't forget, subscribe below. And guys, I'll see you next time.